In this video, I'm gonna share with you an unstoppable check down concept that you can apply to your gun bunch offense. It's gonna combine two of the best concepts in Madden. And we're also gonna show you um, how to do this without Hot Rod Master. Even though I have the bucks in this video, you do not need Hot Rod Master for this. We're gonna be showing this out of the New England playbook, but you can do this out of any bunch formation in Madden 22. It's a universal concept. And again, all you really need is a corner route on the bunch side of the field. It can either be a corner route to the number one receiver in the bunch, the slot receiver in the bunch, or the tight end in the bunch. So smash return, Z spot and go, uh, corner strike, curl flat, all of those plays this concept will apply. Now, uh, we're going to be teaching you, like I said, out of the New England Patriots playbooks. So we're going to go ahead and set a couple of different um, audibles. My zone drops are all at default, but I put curl flat and corner strike in. We're going to first teach this out of corner strike. Real quick, did want to kind of point out something. If you are in 90% of the bunches, you're going to be using the Z spot and go play for this. And they already have this route just like in corner strike, that little route to the running back. So you don't need hot route master for this. If you're in a playbook where they don't have that, we're going to teach you two routes that you can use in place of a table route to the running back. Ideally, I would have want a table route to the running back just because it's better for pulling the zone coverages, but you can use uh, the routes we're going to show you in this video if you don't have it stock in your playbook. So let's go ahead and get on the field here. If you're new to the channel, we do videos like this every single day. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot one important tip on this is you want to come out with your bunch to the short side of the field. So if you're on the right side of the, if, if, if you're on the left hash, then you want to flip your bunch because you want your bunch to the short side of the field. If you're on the right, uh, right hash mark, then you want to uh, come out with it as it is and do all the adjustments. So just come out with your bunch to the short side, really important uh, to start out with here. Now, again, if you want to get my full gun bunch guide, that is available by joining my Patreon. I've been updating my bunch ebook all year long, and um, we've got a ton of really, really, really good breakdowns in the Patreon membership. The Patreon membership, by becoming a member, you get access to all of my Madden 22 ebooks, and in addition to that, all of our weekly pro tips and updates to kind of keep you on top of the meta and how to uh, how to hang with the best players in the world. So if you want to check that out, link is in the description. All right, so here's the concept. And, and really what we're going to take advantage of is we're going to take advantage of two things. We're going to take advantage of the best check down route in the game. We're going to take advantage of the, and then we're going to take advantage of the flag of the fact that when you flip your formation in Madden, it's really hard for the defense to adjust. And you can kind of preset your routes, if you will, in bunch. And when you go to flip, it makes it insanely hard for the defense to keep up with you. So very simple what we're going to do is we are going to put our slot for corner strike we're going to put our slot receiver on a streak so as you can see this creates this flood concept now we got to understand when we flip the play miller is going to become mike evans if you will okay so we're going to streak chris godwood and we're going to hitch mike evans who is the outside receiver over here and then we're going to flip the play now notice we are already set up with exactly the route combo we want, we can spam hike and we can just make a absolute read and throw lasers. Now, the beauty of the corner strike corner route in the Z spot and go corner route and the Pat's Crow flat corner route, those corner routes cannot be defended by stock zones, meaning they have to set their zone drops to be able to have a chance to guard them. And so again, if they're not setting their zone drops, this is gonna be really easy. We're just gonna take this corner route literally all day long and hit it over and over again. There, Jair made the play of his career, but I mean, as you can see, it's, it's open. And you can do the same thing out of Pat's curl flat. Now, what I like to do out of Pat's curl flat, we're going to streak Scotty Miller because we already have the corner from Chris Godwin. Then we're going to hitch Mike Evans. And notice we don't have Bernard on a table route. So instead of a table route, we're going to put him on an out route to the left side of the screen because when we flip the play, you're going to see that now it's going to look kind of like it's supposed to. And again, same thing. We have this flood on the right that is absolutely incredible against any coverage in this game. So now what they're going to have to do from a defensive perspective is they're going to have to set 
some zone drops ideally what they'll probably do is you're going to get a five yard curl flat a five yard hook curl and a 25 yard uh, flat zone to try to defend this so again we're going to come out with our bunch to the short side and we're going to you know streak our guy do that and then flip now i'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of set up my defense a little bit for this I, again, they're going to have a hard time setting up their defense, okay? I'm just telling you, they're, they're going to have a really difficult time setting up their defense, okay? Um, because we're flipping. So that's just something to kind of keep in the back of your mind. But what I want you to notice here is they only have three defenders to defend the left with. And they're defending the right side with four, uh, five defenders plus their user, okay? So what we're going to be able to do first and foremost is we can still kind of throw the corner out, by the way. Um, if you got a good quarterback with a gunslinger, you can still kind of fit that in, especially out of corner strike. Um, not as good out of, um, out of um, Pat's uh, curl flat. But the other thing that I want to really point out to you, and I'm going to go ahead and preset the defense for a flip. Um, but the other thing that I really wanted to point out to you in this video is how good this check down is to the backside solo receiver the hitch it's the hitch and table concept that i love so much and again you see how that curl flat it will always get pulled out at least instantly by that flat and until that flat settles his feet um that is going to consistently be open for you now uh, i'm gonna take my zone drops off and kind of walk you through um the best way that they can defend that backside check down and again it's not easy at all it's borderline unstoppable um it's my favorite check down in madden 22 because of how good it is so we're gonna use um this one more time so corner strike one more time so we're going to streak Godwin, we're going to hitch Mike Evans, and then we're going to flip our play, right? So what I'm going to do on defense is we're going to go ahead and leave the nickel corner over there, probably a much better cover corner, and we're going to have hard flats out of our cover two. And what you're going to notice is that this vert hook shaded down, one of the better zones in the game for guarding a hitch. Because this hitch is outside the numbers, you're going to see that we can easily throw this as a nice little check down and they can't get there. The burnt hook will literally freeze in the middle of the field. So they can't defend this with a burnt hook. It's just not possible. Um, another thing that you're going to see them try to do out of this is they're going to get kind of a double flat, if you will, on that backside. That's not something that's going to be very effective either. And I'll show you that again. The double flat, they have to have their Mabel set. They have to have their zone drop set. If they don't have zone drop set, then they have to have a match coverage plan. But again, you'll notice this hitch is wide open over here on this side. Now, for the sake of the video, I do want to show you how we're going to combat match coverage because I think match coverage, to be honest with you, probably does guard this about as well as you can. So I'm just going to flip my defense, kind of preset my match coverage up here. Made a little bit of a mistake with my, my stuff. I didn't have it set here. But anyways, when you run match coverage, you're going to typically get a deep half on the bunch side. And then they might put this guy in the zone. They might not. Um, but that's generally what you're going to get. So with our backside concept here, we're going to, again, use our hitch. And we're going to use that little flat route to this, this player right here. And what you're going to see is that this hitch is going to be open for a low ball and an aggressive catch right on the cut it's basically man-to-man -man coverage and that is how you're going to be able to beat it if you start to run into a significant amount of match or man-to-man -man coverage which i personally think um is the best way for them to stop it this is a hot rod master trick but you can do this um otherwise as well what we're going to do is we're going to put Mike Evans on a hot route master post route. Now, if you can't do that, just put him on a smart routed in route. It will basically be exactly the same. And then we're going to flip. This is primarily for if they're going to really put some press man on us, right? And what you'll see is you might need to re-smart route this route, but this route, this dig, will almost always be able to beat man, and you can easily aggressive catch that. So if you ever get in a situation where you can't beat man or they start to run a lot of man. One other thing that I did want to point out to you is, again, from Pat's Curl Flat, we don't have the ability to be able to, to, um, to put that player on a on a table he's not on a table so what do we do we put him on a hitch what you can do is if you're anticipating match or man coverage this hitch 
or this um, out route to the running back is wide open. You can easily hit those routes as well. So this is an easy, easy concept. And um, like I said, you just have the ultimate check down in the game. Um, there's, there's no check down better than that flat hitch concept. It literally destroys every coverage in the game regardless what the adjustments they make, what their zone, it doesn't matter. That concept has been good since Madden 19 and will continue to be good year in and year out because of how good the flat hitch combo really is. So thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn more about my bunch offense, I've got a ton of breakdowns in my Patreon on the bunch formation. I also have a ton of stuff on defense. If you're looking for help trying to stop some of this stuff, we got a ton of resources on our Patreon for that as well. Got over 22 eBooks over there and I've got almost a hundred pro, uh, pro tips and meta updates for you. So if you want to get access to that link is in the description, $10 unlocks everything. You get all the eBooks, all the tips, everything, um, all inclusive in it. So if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below and you can go check out that membership.